this is your exotic Filipina Vicky and for today's video we are currently uh, uh, by the <laughs> by the seashore so what I'm doing here is not I'm going to swim but we are here to collect seashells and small fish and sea urchins for our dinner so I am here with my brother um, it is 5 15 p.m. so I have a bucket with me where we're going to put our catch so let's go and have a look what we can get. So it's not very easy guys as you see. Um, you need to have a sharp eyes for you to be able to, to see the seashells because it's, it's, it looks like just the stone. Like this one. This is a seashell. But it just looks like, uh, it looks like just like the stone. So you need to really know the shape of it for you to be able to recognize what is the seashell and what is the stone. So that's how we're going to collect and it doesn't necessarily that we need to fill up the whole bucket we just have to um oh see it's i'm being prank i thought it was a seashell so of course it is a time consuming task but for me it's very therapeutic i feel like um looking for seashell is also another form of me of relaxation i feel like my mind is so focused on finding the seashells so i wouldn't have time to think of any problems and and stuff like that so i'm just focusing on um watching the ground and looking for the seashells so it is actually a form of relaxation so we also eat this one this one guys this so we call it alakak here in the binocular we also eat this one so you're going to get the thing out from it and then you're going to boil it oh it's my brother he found something asana huh what's that this <laughs> Bato Raman good huh? ah I hate my brother he pranked me it was just a prank mm. no this is a hermit Just go find more. Uh, we're just waiting for the for the what you call that? We're waiting for the big big low tide. Now it's just small, so later we will go farther. Right now I'm just looking for a little seashells. So you got you guys here in the province, like, if you don't have food, you could always get malunggay in the farm or in your backyard when you are planting something. And then you can go to the water and catch some fish for you or maybe get some, some of this. Looks beautiful. But this one is not edible. What is that? Oh, it's pulalo. I'm not sure if it's edible. Not really sure if this one is edible, but I can bring it home and ask my sister. Okay, we got it. We get few cuts already. Hingao. 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 
kinagkuan siguro inagkuan ka ng timbulan dili na ito nang duga nga gamay wala po yung salawaki Okay, so this said that this is not the time for the big, um, what you call that? Big low tide. So we don't. This is a season for also for the fish and the seashells. So we might not have a good catch today. We have only very few catch, but I would like to stay a little bit longer. So you also need to have a really sharp sense of seeing <laughs> because you know you need to be careful with the sea orchards with the turns. Nice awake. So this one is also we eat this one as well. This one, but I'm not sure. Um, if I know how to cook it my father used to eat it uh, cook it when he was alive but he's long gone so see I see it this is the shell so as I said you need to be really sharp when you're looking for a seashell especially when like they're small you know, you really don't get anything out from it. It's a very small thingy, but um, the soup, the seashell soup is really, really yum. Especially if you're going to put um, coconut oil, coconut milk rather with this. So, let's go. And I'm going to show you how, how we prepare the seashells as well. Okay guys, time to go home. That's my brother right there. We brought the machete just in case we would be able to see fish. We're going to kill the fish with the machete. So, there are moments that we are also catching seashells at night. We're bringing us flashlights and um, some lights to be able to see because most of the time at night the crabs, the crabs would show up in the shallow. So, Maybe tomorrow night we're going to um, catch the crab. Yeah, we're going to get seashells at night. And crabs and fish. So we didn't have too much catch today. But it's good enough to make a soup. We're going to make a seashell soup for tonight for our dinner be nice oh, and look at how beautiful it is here guys free beauty in nature so that over there is one of the biggest um, restobar here in Alegria we're full of mangroves and the other one the other side of this is the sanctuary so you're not allowed to get seashells there and fish you know to protect the, the marines marine life so yes we're going home i'm gonna prepare the food so let's go let's go let's go let's go guys Mm -hmm. Guys, this is our catch. So we have um, Nicole, fish eh, so Nicole. and crabs. Hey, bata. And then we have the sea urchin. So he is using the tongue because there are quite a lot of seaweeds there. So first we're going to clean it. And then after we clean it, we're going to cook it. So we're going to make a uh, fish soup 
so they're small so the soup is which makes it good you know the fish the fish and the crab soup but other than that like so we also have small fish so we're going to just like fry them kasag ang kasag ang kasag and then this one lalo So this is the sea orchid guys So you should not eat the brown part Only the yellow part
Mana nak tengok? Mana nak tengok?